Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back. So, like I said, we are going to use the dough that we made earlier. Hopefully all of you came back to see what we're gonna do. So what I did is after I made my ball of dough, I wrapped it in a moist paper towel to keep it nice and moist. So all of you who didn't watch my first live earlier, I made pasta dough, really easy, inexpensive, and I put it in the fridge to chill for an hour. And here it is. I wrapped it in a paper towel with, it was moist, I just wet it with water and wrapped it and put it in my fridge. But here's the dough, nice little ball of dough that we are going to flatten and make raviolis with. So welcome, welcome, welcome back. All right, we're gonna put that right there. We are going to roll it a little bit. So what I have here, I have stuff everywhere. <clears throat> I have spinach, ricotta. I have some sweet Italian turkey sausage. Now we're gonna put everything inside the ravioli uncooked because you're gonna cook it. You're gonna boil it. Um, you can freeze these. You can even bread it and fry it. That's a good one. I might try that. Um, but yeah, this is some sweet Italian turkey sausage, which I love ground turkey. If you haven't tried ground turkey, don't knock it till you try it. Because there's some really good ground turkey out there. Um, but we're going to put this aside. This is, we want to make sure we handle this properly because you don't want to get sick. All right, so this, I just pulled it out of the fridge. We're going to put it right there for the moment. And we're going to put a little bit of flour on our cutting board. All right, just a little bit. Flour is our friend today. Okay, just a little. Because we're going to roll it out so that it fits in the pasta machine. My little pasta machine. So you are using it with me for the first time. I'm sharing my first experience with my, my new baby with all of you. Thank you for watching. Okay, so I have my dough that I made, my ball of dough, and I'm, I put some flour on my cutting board, so I'm going to roll, roll it out. I'm going to use my hands first and kind of push down a little bit, because if any of you have rolled dough, you know how hard it can be sometimes when it's so thick. But it came out good. Oh, nice and chilled now. See now I'm just making like a big disc out of it. Now I'm going to grab my rolling pin. We're just going to roll. This is what I did last time. I hand rolled the pasta and it still came out too thick. So this is why I asked my husband to get me a pasta machine so I could actually make it to the right um, thickness. It's supposed to be like the width of a nickel, in case you didn't know. That's what I was told anyway. So rolling it to the width of a nickel was almost impossible. So I did make the raviolis. I have a video of it um, actually. And it was so hard. My arms got so tired. <laughs> like I'd be rolling forever. <laughs> So, pasta machine makes me very happy. Okay, so we're just gonna roll some of this because I wanna roll it thin enough so I can get it in the machine. My machine has these dials for width on here. Um, so we're gonna roll with it and see what happens. Right now I have it on six. It's one through 10, it's scored on here. We got this, um, we like to go away places, um, North Conway here in New Hampshire, we were up there and they had a really cool kitchen store and that's where I got this, um, pasta machine. See, so now it's all rolled. Now we're going to put it through the machine. So excited. So I have something to show you. This is really cool. My mother-in-law, this was before I got my pasta machine. Got me this nifty little tool, which I used last time I made 
ravioli. Um, but my dough was so thick, I was having such a hard time. So, it's like this. So, once I roll my dough to my thickness, thinness, whichever you want to call it, um, I'm going to lay it on here. And there's these grooves that create that ravioli effect. Isn't it adorable? So then once I put the, the dough on here, I put this on here to make the little pockets for the stuffing. Isn't that cute? And then I'll put the other layer of dough right on top of it. I think it's so adorable. I can't wait. So. We're gonna use this today too. Okay, so we have this dough. The only problem is this isn't that wide, but we're gonna we're gonna see if I can make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna kind of stretch my dough a little bit like that. Let's see, everybody. Let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. Like. So I'm going to assume you're going to kind of manipulate it a little bit. All right, it's cranking. It's cranking. Yay! I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's cranking slow, but it's cranking. It's all good. It's coming out the other side. I'll show you as soon as it's done. It's taking the whole thing. I'm so excited to use my pasta machine. My husband's going to be really, really proud of me. All right. See, this is my kitchen. I get to live and learn in my kitchen. Y'all need to do that. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited. All right. So now I have an accordion of dough. Oh, oh no. It didn't work out well. Holy crap. <laughs> I think I need, I think I needed to hold the other end. Alright, we're gonna have to try this again. Uh Mama Misty's real kitchen, everybody. <laughs> oh god, this is great. <laughs> I love it. Ah. Uh. This cracks me up. This is why, like, when I named my site, I put the word real in there. Because you really can't get much more real than what you just saw. And I don't cut out bloopers. I don't change nothing. Like I said, we're learning the pasta machine together. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right. Let's try this again. Okay, so I need to hold it so it doesn't do that. All right, we got this. We got this. <laughs> oh God, that that was hilarious. If you should have seen my face when I looked underneath the machine and just saw the accordion of dough. <laughs> my husband's gonna watch us and laugh. Laugh, laugh, laugh. All right, we're gonna have to try this again. Now it's rolling out the dough again. I'm gonna put a little more flour on it. Um, Cause I noticed it was a little bit sticky. All right, round two. <laughs> oh God. This would be a good like ladies night party. Dough making could have a lot of fun going on here. Really. <laughs> I guess doing it by hand was easier. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. I dough so wound up now. Holy crap on a cracker. All right. Let's see. Okay. I feel like I need to have something holding this. Do you know what I'm saying? Like something. All right. 
So I have this piece, I'm going to put it on. So I'm going to use it. It makes noodles shapes. But I'm going to use it as a, as a partner. <laughs> if anyone has a pasta machine, got any tips for me? <laughs> All right, here we go. See, this is going to work much better. I need to assist, assist. Okay. Here we go. Look, look, look. We got it. <laughs> the 10 million try. It's okay. Actually, only try two. Look at it, though. See? Perfect. So excited. So excited. So what I want to do, actually, I'm going to cut it and we'll make two strips. Two strips. There. That's perfect. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we're going to lay this here. Can't wait to try fresh pasta so good okay next one those of you who missed my uh, accordion debacle with the dough you'll want to rewind and watch what I did the first time <laughs> it's pretty entertaining <laughs> oh it was good <laughs> okay we have sheets now yes oh god that was that was good that was real good it's my first time using this pasta machine i am sharing my experience with all of you in mama misty's real kitchen and it's freaking hilarious all right this looks good now we have some good sheets of oh yes i'm so excited okay i want to get the mold what do i do with it uh, oh, duh. oh my god. So this is our mold. I was showing everybody how this is where we put the, the dough. Then I put this on top to make the, in, the mold insert. And it looks like the width is actually perfect. We gonna find out. Yeah, oh my. You see that everybody? Perfect. I am, however, going to cut this just because it's obviously too long, but we'll have dough for later. Now, you know what though, I'm going to put this here, like so, and that's going to keep the shape. This is my dough. I'm gonna move this cutting board because we're gonna do the filling now. We're gonna make our filling. I'm just gonna have my sheets of dough here, just like that. We're gonna take this loveliness, we're gonna put this aside. Okay, now we're gonna do the filling. So I described earlier, let me go wash my hands real quick. So I described earlier how I have sweet Italian turkey sausage, sweet Italian turkey sausage. And it is right here. We're putting the ingredients in uncooked because we're going to be cooking these anyway. We're going to be boiling them. Um, so you don't want tough meat and turkey is lean. So you really don't want to kill it. Um, it's in this nice bag. Uh, so, I have spinach and ricotta. So I'm gonna take, I'm not gonna use this whole thing. This is a big, big ricotta. I'm gonna, cause it's just for filling for the ravioli. So I'm gonna use like two cups, two cups of ricotta. All right. Then I'm gonna mix in my ricotta. I'm gonna mix in some spinach. Um, it's going to be spinach, ricotta, and uh, ground, like a sweet Italian ground turkey. So I'm just breaking it up. I'm not taking the stems off or nothing. Um, it's all going to get mixed in with the ricotta anyway, and it's going to cook. But remember, you're going to boil these. You're going to boil them so it is going to cook the turkey. I just don't want it dry and gross because you can freeze these too. And I mentioned you could even um, batter them and fry them. 
Have any ever uh, anyone ever had the fried raviolis? Mmm, they're really good. Okay. So this is just ricotta and spinach. I'll show you real quick. Just ricotta and spinach. That's it. About two cups of spinach and two cups or so of ricotta. I'm a ricotta freak. I love ricotta, so I use a lot of it. All right. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make some with just ricotta and spinach without the turkey. So we're going to make a few of those right now. Okay. So I have my little mold now. I'm going to take this out. Oh, no. Okay. I think I made it too thin. It's a total experiment. I love it. This is what I like to do, though. I do this a lot, and I like to do it with people. I try different recipes and different things. Never be afraid. It's your kitchen. You can cook whatever you want. You don't have to worry about someone, you know, not liking it because you're the one eating it. And my kids always ate pretty much whatever I made. But stuff like this is good if um, if you have leftovers and you don't know what to do with them. Make some crazy meal out of it. Alright. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I have this little scoop and it's like almost the same size as the holder for everything. So... Here's the, I'm just going to put a little bit in each one, and you don't want to overfill them. I made the mistake last time of overfilling, and it um, squished out everywhere. <laughs> I put the, I put the um, raviolis together, and it, yeah, it, it didn't work out so well. No, did not. So yeah, don't overfill. I know I get like overzealous because I love the stuffing, and I'll put too much in it, and yeah, no, no, no. It doesn't work out. Nope. All right. Here we go. So I'm just filling the mold now. And not overfilling them because I'm really bad at that. Because I want all the cheese in one and I put too much. Okay. And then I'm going to put another sheet over this. Of the... Stuff I need. Okay. So this is just the spinach and the ricotta. That's all this is. This lovely mold that I have. It's a mold. I got water boiling so I can boil a couple of them and see how they taste and what they look like. Alright. Top sheet. I'm going to put this on here. And what I'm going to do, I'll press down so those perforated edges will show on the raviolis, I guess you could say. Because they're down the middle too. Take my knife. Take my knife. Tear that away. I'm just cool. I got it to work. I'm just really happy I got it to work. What's that? Oh, that's right. We got to turn our clocks ahead. Or back. Back, right? Exactly. Thank you for the reminder. Alright, so I'm touching the perforated edges on each. On our little ravioli mold and I think I can feel already that I overstuffed some. Yeah, I overstuffed some of these. This, however, my pasta machine, everybody, I made some pasta today with this beauteous thing. My first attempt was terrible. <laughs> my first attempt made accordion dough and squished all together. So this is my 
second attempt. Much better. It's a little thin, a little thinner than I prefer. I have a scared feeling it may explode in the water, but we'll see. Time will tell. All right, so now I'm going to flip this upside down. This is my duck. We can re-roll this through the machine. All right, you watching everybody? Okay, we're gonna flip this like so and see, I'm gonna show you real quick. See how it kind of squished? See, I overfilled them. They squished. So, but some of these are okay. The ones that are okay, I'll I'll keep. I'll have to add dough to the ones that aren't okay. But I wanted you to see that. Yeah, they squished. But it's okay. All right, I have water boiling though. I just want to cook a couple. Let's see, this is total experimental. Mama Misty's real kitchen line. I've made raviolis before. My dough was too thick. I have the pasta machine here and I'm using it with all of you. Let's see. Now it's getting these things out. Holy crap on a cracker. All right. I stuffed them too much. I knew it. Dang it. All right. They look cute, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I really do know how to cook. I'm just cooking something I'm not used to making. The dough, yes. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I'm gonna cut them with a knife. I have a pizza roller, but we made pizza last night, so it's not available. So I wanna show all of you my pasta. A little ravioli. There's one. Here's two. Little ravioli. I'm gonna put it in the water. So my water's boiling. Add a little bit of salt. We are going to drop it in. Let's see. That's my water. You see it? I'm gonna put it in here. So we're going to let that boil. I'm going to cook one ravioli with you because I want to see how they come out. I got a few more that I could use that didn't explode. <laughs> oh, God. Love a mission here. Learning uh, how to use a pasta machine with you. I ain't shy. It is what it is. Ooh, here's a good one. See? A little ravioli. We actually, we we made raviolis. We really did use the pasta machine to make ravioli. They're not the prettiest ravioli, <laughs> but they're ravioli. I will get better at this, I promise all of you. I will get better at this. But we're going to boil one, and I'll make my mix with my turkey and all that. But I think I need to perfect this dough. <laughs> The thickness, I think, is my problem. But this, look at it. Oh, wow. Hey. It's, it's, it's floating. It's floating, y'all. It's floating. All right. We're going to. I need something. All right. You know what? Cutting board. Here we go. Not bad. It's a ravioli. And it's cooked. Yes, it's done. Oh my God. So yeah. We're gonna make some raviolis. That's awesome. You cut it in half. Hey. Ravioli. We made it. We did it. I'm going to try it. No sauce, no need. 
Holy crap. Tastes like ravioli to me. Oh my god. I know it's a mess, but it worked. Mmm. Dang, that's good. OMG. We made raviolis. I'm super excited. I'm going to keep making more raviolis. But thank you for sharing my pasta machine first experience with me. That was pretty damn funny. I'm sorry if you missed the uh, accordion dough display, but rewind. It's, it, it's pretty funny. But yeah, thanks guys for cooking with Mama Misty here in my real kitchen. Bloopers, whatever it takes, but we have fun in my kitchen. So I'll see you next time on the next live. Thank you so much for watching. It was a blast.